Um, my name is Kim. I found out about Robert. Um, well, actually, my husband was looking for some help for me. I, um, I have battled with uh, addiction for greater than 20 years. Um, and the, uh, through that, I've, I've, um, I've mounted up a whole lot of regrets and a whole lot of guilt. And uh, I've gone to, gosh, I've been in inpatient treatment the 30-day variety five times. I've been in outpatient treatment probably a handful of times, um, done the meetings and all those things, and it, and it didn't work. And uh, I have a family who loves me and a lot of good things in my life, and slowly but surely, I was working on losing all of them. Well, I was addi addicted to meth and uh, pain medication. I came to see Robert, and well, after the first two hours, uh, when I went home that evening, my husband could tell a difference in me. Um, the biggest thing I would say that, that he has helped me with is the guilt and the regrets. Um, I used to, I couldn't talk about anything that, that really touched my heart or, or meant anything to me without crying. I, I cried at the drop of the hat. Um, that is gone. There, there are um, regrets I have with my dad died. Um, about a year and a half ago, and um, I wasn't able to say that without tearing up and crying. I have, you know, I, I hurt him in a lot of ways, and uh, those things I wasn't able to think of without just getting sick to my stomach and, and tearing up and crying and, and hating myself. I, when I looked in the mirror, I, I hated myself. I didn't like the person that looked back at me. I don't hate myself anymore. Um, and I've seen him what five out of ten times. I think we're we're not even we're not even finished yet. <laughs> so I'm looking for some more good things. But it's really been awesome. You know, all these all these other things that I have tried, um, they haven't worked for me. And I I had gotten to where I believed I was a hopeless case. You know, I felt like um, I contemplated suicide. Um, I felt like my family would be better off without me. Um, I'm, I'm a registered nurse. I had to surrender my license because of the problems that I've had, but um, I do plan on getting it back. Um, and I do believe there is hope for me that I can do anything and I don't hate myself anymore. I'm not addicted, no. I don't, I don't believe I'll be an addict for the rest of my life. I do believe there's, there's still a little work to do on me. Um, but that was, that was one thing that I was taught throughout the treatment and, and the meetings and all that stuff was, you know, I am an addict. And that was, that was a huge thing in, in, in the programs was always, always will be. And, and that's the identification process is big. That's what they always told me. You had to go to these meetings and I had to say my name. My name is Kim and I'm an addict. I hated that. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to live addicted, but I didn't want to have to live going to meetings and saying I'm an addict either. <laughs> so this has worked for me. It's worked miracles in my life as far as I'm concerned. I have struggled. My addiction is or has been drugs, um, not food. I struggled with drug addiction for uh, almost 25 years. I had been in inpatient treatment um, three times, outpatient treatment a variety of times, and um, couldn't get it to work. Um, I was a registered nurse, and through, um, because of the drugs, I had to surrender my license. I'm married, and I have three children, and a loving husband who, for some reason, has stood by me through all this. Um, and like I said, when I came to Robert, that, that was my background. I had gotten in trouble with the law, finally, after all the years of, of doing these things. I hated myself. Uh, when I looked in the mirror, the person that looked back, I despised her. I absolutely despised myself. There weren't a whole lot of days that went by that I didn't want to die. I, uh, I thought about it all the time. And um, I go to sleep at night and ask God, please don't let me wake up. And you know, all the while I've got this family that loves me and needs me. And so anyway, um, the first session I had with Robert was a two-hour session, and we worked on my hate for myself. 
um, because it was the hate that had me so self-destructive. And after that two hours, I walked out of there. I walked differently. When I walked into my house, my husband said, you know, what's happened? I can tell something is different. Something has changed. Um, and I, so, of course, I went back. It felt good. Um, and we worked on, I was addicted to methamphetamine. Um, I hated it. It was destroying my life, and I couldn't get free. The treatment people had for me was to go away to, for six to nine months of, of long-term treatment, residential. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to be away from my family, and I knew in my heart it wouldn't work because it hadn't worked until then. So I got the counselor to agree to let me uh, work with Robert because I saw her after seeing Robert for a couple times. She could tell a difference. And this was a woman I had known for quite some time. She knew just how deep my problems were. Um, I continued to see Robert, and through that, to this day, I like myself. I love myself. I have not once, since that two-hour session, thought about killing myself, wanting to die. Um, and Sunday will be seven months that I've been free from methamphetamine. And I've never before in my life been able to say, it is behind me. You know, there are some common sense things. I cut ties with people who, who did that kind of stuff and things like that, but I never, ever felt like I could put it behind me, but it's behind me. I, um, I got, you know, I, I saw Robert for quite some time, and then I, I kind of backed off of it, and I got into a depression, and it was, it was an awful depression. I mean, I couldn't, like I said, I've, I'm a nurse. I've lost my license. I've, I need to go to work. We're in financial you know, dire straits, and, and there are a lot of things bad going on in my life. Just some, I'm, I'm paying my, the price for the things I've done. I got to where I couldn't get out of bed. Um, I didn't shower for two or three days. I mean, I just, I could not put one foot in front of the other. I also have chronic pain, and because of that, I take pain medication. I started abusing my pain medication, and basically um, was walking around like a zombie. Um, so I came back to see Robert, and I guess that's part two. You know, I felt really, I felt really bad. I felt like a failure. I felt like I had digressed. And Robert pointed out to me that I hadn't gone backwards, that this was just another layer. My father died two years ago, this month actually. And uh, I had some real unfinished business with my dad. And uh, he was my hero. He was a lot to me. And through working with Robert, I was able to go back and revisit the time of his death and change and get closure and change the perception, my, my perception about the entire thing. I was searching for my dad. Ever since he died, I was searching for him. I'm gonna cry. Um, I'm not searching for him anymore. He's right here and I know he was. And I feel like I've got my life back. I've still got plenty to work on, but um, that's part of why I was so nervous coming up here. I want people to know what this has done for me. Um, it's given me my life back.